What's up everyone? So today I want to touch base on why I chose the Galaxy over the Carrick. Even though as much as I love the Carrick, it ended up being the base building part of it that kind of made me go that direction. And we we'll to just kind of touch base between the two and kind of give some overviews of it. Just my opinions. Take them for, with your grain of salt. Let me know what you think later on. But as far as the two ships... There are some simulators. There's quite a bit of differences between them. Of course, the Carrick is mainly for exploration, expeditions, long-range capability. Of course, it has the multifunctional, the advanced scanning equipment, which isn't in-game. The drones, which isn't in-game. And the will have modularity. We just don't know what it is yet. As far as the Galaxy... Um, it's going to be a lot of heavy transport. It'll have medical, it'll have the refinery, and of course the what's been said as base building as part of it whenever it showed that at uh, CitizenCon as well. But, of course, we don't have that module or anything that we can do anything with. We just currently have the three known and then kind of the unknown one as well. But even though there are some similarities there's still a lot of difference between them like i said as far as the carrot mainly exploration and expedition um it's going to have some amazing exploration capabilities when that does come into play very long distance missions on it uh, let me switch over here and go up here to the carrot and of course you can see it's got huge fuel tanks everything like that on it it it'll go for quite a while now it does not have the capability of the odyssey where it could of course mine quantanium and basically refine itself its own quantanium fuel and everything but it still has a very large fuel tank on it compared to the galaxy which i don't think we have that information yet we don't um so we don't know how that's going to go i do believe if i remember correctly that did not say that it'll be able to kind of pick up and refine its own quantanium and there's of course not a way to it that we can see here at all so that's one of the main other things with it the carrick will definitely be able to stay out quite a bit longer it wasn't won't have any major things there but we do know that even though it won't be able to refine its own fuel if you pair it with something like a Prospect or a Mole, the Galaxy will be able to refine that. As far as how much room it's got, technically, if you use the cargo module, you're going to have a lot more room than the Carrick as far as cargo. The module, I believe, is 512. Yep, 512 plus the 64 that it'll have in the back of it. Well, not as much as a Caterpillar or, of course, the uh, C2 it does go more than what the Carrick itself actually holds. Going in a little bit more of a comparison ship to ship here. They're very similar in size. The Carrick is a little bit longer, a little bit wider, and a little bit taller. Um, Price-wise, we don't know what it, it's going to be in-game for the Galaxy. The Carrick's $26 million if it stays where it is now. Of course, with the comedy updates, that's a very good possibility that it may be going up. We don't know that yet. Real money, right offhand, of course, currently the Carrick sits at $600. Um, I think it's $650 without being Warbond versus the Galaxy at not quite half, but almost at $380. Now, that does not include any of the modules that you can get with it as well. So crew and everything by this it does state that one crew can run the galaxy i honestly don't really see how that's possible myself but i mean i've ran the carrick with one person for a while not so much as using the overall systems everything of it just being out running around in the verse kind of as a daily driver still do since i've of course upgraded to the galaxy i still have the carrick as a loner so hey it, it works that way um 
systems, of course, very similar in all their systems. We don't know all the details of the galaxies yet. Um, the main differences are the power plants and the shields. Uh, power plant on the Carrick is one size three. Power plant on the Galaxy is two uh, size threes. Shields, Carrick has more two size three shields versus the Galaxy's one size three shield. Um, let me get down to the weapons. The other main thing here on it, the Carrick does have one extra man turret on it. Or, well, one extra turret. Uh, being three manned, one remote. The Galaxy does only have three turrets. It doesn't state here if they're manned or remote. If I remember correctly, I do think that they're all going to be remote because I don't think there's a way to get to them as far as manned. But the Galaxy does have missiles on it as well. Now, granted, the Galaxy is not a combat ship at all. I would never try to take it into combat. It's more of get around, kind of, hey, mini base for a little while, get out, hang out with some friends, go do some cargo running in it, things like that. Now, one thing I do also know is that the with the hangers, the Carrick hanger is, of course, extra, extra small. Should be the same with the Galaxy. One question I do have, though, is, of course, the Carrick closes over it. Everything goes in. No big deal. It's put up. The Galaxy has the hangar coming in from the back. I don't know if that actually will have... Let me see if I can find a picture here. Uh, da, 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 da. See, there, of course, the Galaxy does have the hangar at the back there. Now, I've not personally seen if that closes off or if that stays open and there's just like a, a force field type thing on it. I hope it closes because that would not be that good if it didn't have some sort of security on it. Because if you're out somewhere, someone might just randomly roll up and fly in with their little ship. And, of course, that's your ship that they're, in essence, taking over in a way. So that is a little bit worrisome there. I don't know, and I've not seen anything personally on it. Hopefully that will come into play on it. Um, comparatively, like I said, it, it's more of a Carrick in-game. Everything on it is there. It's already working. It works well. Um, it, it is missing some features, which, I mean, there's a lot of ships that are currently missing features on it. But, it to me, I just like the styling of the Galaxy better after seeing it. And, of course, with the base building part coming in at some point. I definitely think that it's going to lean more toward how I like to play personally. Uh, comparatively, Carrick does have better endurance and, of course, has a huge cargo base unless you add in the Galaxy's cargo module, which I do plan to do. Medical on it, of course, the Carrick has a Tier 2 med bed right off the bat already there. Don't have to do anything special. It's there. Galaxy, you do have to switch out a module for it, but when you switch it out, you do have the two, or the three tier three, two tier two, and the one uh, tier one medical bed. So that definitely opens up a lot more options there for it as well. As far as combat, like I said, I'm not going to take the Galaxy into combat. That is probably one of the dumbest things I could do with it. It's just not there for that. Carrick at the same time is not the best at combat. It does have a lot of defense to it, but it's not the best in combat. It basically just falls down to your own personal opinion. Me, I had the Carrick. I liked it. Dropping down to the Galaxy on it did allow me to kind of adjust and redo some things with that. I am going to get the cargo module with it, possibly the other two two modules I don't know there yet which of course that zeroes out what I would have saved with the Carrick but I don't have to really go with the refinery module that's one that I'm up in the air on I don't foresee myself doing it the cargo modules are definite possibly might get the medical module I do have the medevac that I'm waiting on to come in as well so that's 
unlikely that I'll get it, but it's always a possibility there as well. So, kind of going back to just what I'm looking for myself. Carrick, love it. Can't wait to see what the modules and everything do in it. But I really think I'm going to like the Galaxy better overall. I have more fun with it. And it kind of fits with my gameplay a little bit more. I'm definitely leaning toward doing a few different things that aren't necessarily going every day with what the Carrick would do. I don't really plan on doing as much exploring as I originally thought I would. So I think Galaxy makes a better option. But leave what you want to say down in the comments. Let me know what you think. If any of it makes any sense, if it doesn't make sense. And we'll see you next time. Have a good one.